Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Tech Motoring. Well, Hyundai just released their November 2021 map and software updates for their vehicles. So on today's episode, we're gonna dive in, we're gonna see what is new and what has changed. So stick around, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned because we're coming right back at you. All right, everybody, well, welcome back. So like I was saying, we're gonna be going over the November 2021 Hyundai map update and software updates for their vehicles. Now, this is not going to be a walkthrough or instructions on how to do that. If you do need those instructions, you could take a look up here at this video. That was a previous video I had done about six months ago, and that goes over the instructions of how to do the updates and, and what you need and everything like that. This is just purely going to be us downloading the update and putting it onto the SD card and then installing it into the vehicle and just seeing what's different about it and going over the release notes as well. So let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at their website and let's go ahead and see what they've changed. All right, so let's get started on this. So from the main Hyundai website, we are gonna click on that menu option in the top right corner and we are gonna go down to the Blue Link Multimedia Map Updates right there. And when we click on that, that's going to give us to the main page of the, uh, you know, navigation updates, software updates, however you call it. Uh, and right here we see the November 21 navigation map and software update. And here we are. So now this is where we are at. So let's go over a couple of the features that they are talking about now. So this is new feature improved, which means this was a feature that already existed, but they just kind of changed it a little bit. The automatic tunnel linked FM radio noise control function added. Um, and basically what this is, is it when you go through a tunnel and you lose your FM reception, it doesn't get that really staticky noise when you lose the reception. What it does is it kind of tones it down a little bit so it's not as obnoxious and loud in your vehicle. So it looks like they improved this feature a little bit. Um, and as we can see that they uh, they have the three different settings that you can choose and doesn't appear to that they changed that at all. Next one down, new navigation map black theme added. So that's pretty cool. So they had those three choices right here and you can see that they uh, now added the black one right there and if we go down a little bit further here we have the new valet mode provided so it says to protect your personal information the valet mode restricts another driver from using the audio system without a password new expanded application of a new design theme so this says the latest design theme applied to the standard class gen 5w navigation system has been expanded to include the standard class Gen 5 and premium class Gen 5 navigation systems. So it looks like this one's specifically for the Gen 5 class systems. So if you don't have a Gen 5, then you're not going to see this update most likely. Um, and it looks like they applied a new design theme and uh, icons have been applied to some of the screens there, which is pretty cool. Now down here, it shows the type of systems that are available to be updated. Now the standard class Gen 4, which is what I have in our 2017 Hyundai Ionic. Um, that's the older version. So this shows uh, that version there. There's also the standard class Gen 5, um, which looks similar to the uh, Gen 4, but slightly updated. And then of course you have the standard class Gen 5W, uh, which is the bigger touch screens that you can get in those models. And then of course the premium class Gen 2. And they have the premium class Gen 5 navigation, which is the 12 inch touch screen um, that will also receive parts of these updates as well. And something I wanted to point out that I noticed a little while ago is down here it says if your audio system has an SD card, you need to use an SD card to update the software and the map. And it kind of gives you the requirements of how to do that and what SD card you need. Now it also says if your audio system does not have an SD card, you need to use a USB flash drive to update the software and map. If you come across a vehicle that doesn't have the SD card that's in it, then give it a shot with a flash drive. Uh, you know, you could just grab a flash drive, probably gotta be at least 16 gigs, at least that's what it recommends for the uh, SD card requirements. But grab a flash drive, see if that works for you as well. Um, and it pretty much should be the same instructions that I have in that video as I, I posted up here before. Uh, give that a shot and see if that works for you. Um, but I'm going to be doing it with the uh, SD card for our car, uh, which is just a 32 gig SD card that I've had. And um, that's how we're going to be updating ours. But now that we're at that point, let's go ahead and throw the SD card in our laptop here. And then we're going to go ahead and open up the navigation software that we have loaded on our computer. Now, once again, if you don't have it or you don't know where to get it, go ahead and take a look at my video that I had put up here before. 
that will actually give you the um, instructions on where to get it. And now keep in mind that it's different for every country. This is going to be primarily for the United States or at least North America. Make sure you keep that in mind that it may be different. All right, so I went ahead and started the update process on the SD card. So it's gonna take a little bit of time to download all that software off the internet and it will apply it to that SD card, which then we will go out to the car, put the SD card in, and then from there, we'll just run the software update. But we'll go ahead and let this run for a little bit. It's gonna take probably about 30 or 40 minutes to download and install that software onto that SD card. And then we will be seeing you back in the car. All right, so after a little bit of time of waiting for that update to write to the SD card that we have right here, we are now going to insert this back into the vehicle. Now, like I was mentioning before, there is a possibility of doing this with a USB flash drive if for some reason your car doesn't have a SD card. Now I've never tried it because it says if you have an SD card slot, you have to use an SD card. If you don't, then you can use the USB flash drive or thumb drive and you can give that a shot if you'd like. The same procedures will be there just like it was with the SD card. So go ahead and give that a shot if you don't have an SD card slot in your vehicle. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and insert this into the car now. All right, we're gonna start the car up. Let's go ahead and hit that update button, which if you've canceled out of the beginning like I did, you can just go right back into general through the settings. And then right here where it says software update, we are gonna hit the update button. Now, before we do that, I'm gonna show you one thing. And I did this on my first video as well, is that it will show the current update that we have. So right here, our software version is 21, which is the year, 2021, 326, which is March 26th. That is when my specific vehicles update was created and, and released. He, however, they typically release these all in one batch. So they might work on a couple vehicles over the course of a couple months. And that's why every car might have a slightly different date than that, that number there. And we'll see that again once I do the update as well. Uh, we also see the same thing with the firmware version where it says, 210324. All right, so I took a couple pictures of our current versions and we'll compare those to the before and after after we do this update. So let's go ahead, let's hit this update button and wait for it to do its thing. So we see here that it already tells us that it's going up to 211026. So it's 2021, October 26. So this version was released uh, or at least it was created around the date of October 26th of this year, even though this update hadn't been released from Hyundai until beginning of November. But anyway, let's go ahead and hit that yes button and let this run through. Now do keep in mind that this process does take some time depending on your vehicle, depending on the SD card that you have, the speed of that SD card. This can take anywhere between, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes depending, all the way up to maybe an hour. So make sure you have patience with this, make sure you have enough time to do this. And of course, if you're in a car that uh, requires gas, make sure you have enough gas. Um, this is being an electric car. I'm basically just running this in my garage since it doesn't really make a difference. And uh, we're just gonna let this sucker go and, and see what happens. Um, so we're gonna let that go. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. All right, not too long of a wait, maybe about 25 minutes to update this 2017 Hyundai Ioniq. Okay, so now that the update is done, let's go ahead and go into that setup and look at that firmware version here under general and we shall see some changes here so yep we see them already so this used to be 210326 now it is 211026 so there's an update for the software version there that we've confirmed uh the firmware version yes is different as well this used to be 21142103242 now we have 21212108825 so there is a difference to that firmware version uh this number below it appears to be identical to what it was so there's no change there device id that's just a physical device so that's not going to change anything navigation app version uh that appears to be the same as well so no changes there as well um, so now let's go ahead and go back to uh, what we were looking at before, which was the radio differences here. So let's go back to setup and sound and radio noise. And yeah, we got no update here because this was just an enhanced feature that they added. So it looks like, um, you know, that was just something that they've added functionality or they improved the functionality of this feature that's already been here. So. No change there, no surprise. So let's go and see if I get the maps uh, in the different colors. So let's go to navigation 
and map color and I do not. Okay, so it looks like the Gen 4s do not get the black map update, uh, the black theme map update, I should say, um, unfortunately, because uh, I was really looking forward to that. Now, if you do have a Gen 4 uh, head unit and you did get the uh, black map updates, leave it in the comments below. I'll be curious to know if it's per vehicle or or if there's some other requirement to get it, or if you need to have a fifth gen radio. Um, so unfortunately, we don't get that on the fourth gen uh, radio system here. So with the valet mode, it appears that you need to have the valet feature on your vehicle itself. So it says it's supposed to be under the all menus, and then valet mode, which we do not have in this vehicle. So once again, another thing with the gen four units are gonna be missing the valet mode. Um, you know, not a big deal. And of course, we're also not going to be getting the new design theme as well because of how old this unit is. That was only on fifth gen. But anyway, that is the navigation and software update for the Hyundai's uh, November 2021 software update. So if you haven't already, go ahead and pick that up and install it on your Hyundai. Uh, give it a shot and see how it looks. Um, there are some pretty cool features in it as far as I could tell. Um, for me, unfortunately, I'm not going to be getting many of those features. I'm a little upset that I didn't get the black theme for the navigation i was really hoping to have that but you know what it is what it is and you know this is what happens when you have an older generation vehicle you need to have some of the newer um, technology and the newer performing you know chips in order to take advantage of these extra features that's the process the november 2021 navigation updates for your hyundai vehicle so go ahead and get them while you can and uh, i'd like to thank you very much for watching this episode don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel check us out on our website techmotoring.com on twitter at techmotoring facebook.com slash techmotoring i'd like to thank you very much again for watching and we will see you on the next episode and don't forget welcome to the future and welcome to tech motoring we'll see you all soon